Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. I'm Ultima Mantoid. This is part three. We are beginning butter building. Uh, we need to get out of here before the crash happens. Stone is really useful. I, I like it. It's also featured... Oh, come here. It's also featured in uh, Smash. And now we get my Kirby. And I am going to use all three charges this time. Like, right here. And my favorite! No! No! Okay, got my Kirby back. My favorite. He just fucking wails on that mic. You can choose to go up and around, or you can go down and take the secret path. And by smashing the button, you get the Coliseum. This takes you to the same spot that you would have been earlier. I wanted the fireball. Oh well. I'll take the uh, laser. And kind of like in Mega Man, some weapons work better against some enemies than other things. We'll take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel! No, Kirby, take the wheel. Also, when you find those enemies, try to get steal the Maxim Tomato from underneath them. Some... Yep. That's... I was like, it's going to pop up, and it's going to get me killed. And it popped up and got me killed. Come here, laser. Uh. You know, this is kind of like that last level in Battletoads. The revolution. Uh. Of course, laser bounced right in the path. You're not going anywhere, buddy. You should just stop. A rock to the head hurts. And here is... Uh, yeah, I had to think there for a second. And the wheel is very useful here. Told you. Okay, this is an interesting section. Ice! It's the same thing as chill. 
Except, it's like chill plus fire. Kirby can freeze enemies with his cold breath and then throw them at others. I gotta remember which side is which here. Really? Did that just happen? Wow. I am bad. I am really bad. Oh, okay. It gives me a chance to get him again. Okay. There we go. Are you fucking with me? Wow! Nice backdrop. Yeah, this is one of the tougher mini-bosses. Maybe I should just let myself get killed again. Anyway, the backdrop is a really neat weapon. Kirby used their powerful wrestling technique, the backdrop, to defeat opponents. No, not enough for a one-up. Alright, two butter building three. And it's, it's wonderful, because if you ever just wanted to pick somebody up and just throw them, and, or not throw them, just suplex the fuck out of them. Come here. You have to think opposites here. Fairly simple area, really. I mean, area three, I remember just not being too terribly difficult. And there's no secret exit. So with the museum, this time we can high jump. And we will suplex the hell out of it. Because backdrop is amazing. Warp star! Yeah! Going up to the top of the building. Uh-oh, and it's Meta Knight again. How well will the backdrop work? Let's find out. Boom! Off the top rope! And off the second rope! And down into the floor! Backbreaker! That was easy. See, backdrop is an amazing weapon. Provided you're patient enough with it, and... And you can make it work. Um, okay. You can just explode and fly away, I guess. I mean, if that's what you want to do. This, I remember being a really neat section. Get the one up, jump, baby hop. I'm looking to see if there was anything I missed. I was thinking that there is in this section, but I guess not. 
Besides that. Up. Oh. Yeah, if you inhale, it just takes you straight to the top. Alright! Alright, we get our... F another... We get a new minigame this time. This is the quick draw. I don't remember how this one goes. Oh, right. Yeah, you have to wait for them to say fire. You shoot the hats off everybody. And they get increasingly faster. And he also gets an increasingly more powerful weapon. Yep. DDD is the hardest one to beat. That's a fun little mini game. I mean, all the mini games in this are fun. So, ah, oh, Hyper Kirby. Ignoring the fuck out of everybody. I don't know why I thought I could pull that off. Uh. Yeah, he's a little tough to beat with the backdrop. Yeah. It just ain't working. So we're going to switch weapons. The hammer is a very wep uh, very powerful weapon. You can use it on stubborn bad guys and clear paths. Pretty much it's your I'm smashing the fuck out of everything weapon. So, you hit that peg, bam, maximum tomato, and a one-up. And I think that guy's name is Bananas or something like that, I don't even remember anymore. The gorilla thing with the hammer, I, I don't remember. Now we'll go to Butter Building 6. And we'll just, you know... I was gonna ignore the, the little dude, but you know, he's gonna be all like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like run into you. Laser is really neat to have here, which I could have gotten it, but I decided not to. Which, for the sake of, of coolness, I'll come back through here with the laser. No. Bad swordsman. Everybody should know that swords lose to hammers.
Run, Kirby, run! And yes, you can do like with the sword, and you can jump and spin and swing the hammer like that too. I know there's, I think, yeah, this, yeah, it was up here. Okay, it's pretty uh, freaking obvious. And you have to be quick there. But, you get the green button. Which clears an egg hatching game. No, I told you. Now here's a really neat scenario. Absorb this guy. Dark areas can be spooky. This lets Kirby set off fireworks. It only works in the dark. And it's a one-time use weapon. High jump is really nice to have. if you don't get hit. Let's do the egg catcher and then the boss. By the way, there are three different difficulty levels of every uh, minigame. I got them all! And that's what happens. So, you know, for three lives, it's not bad. And see, you can go back or forward a stage. Well, forward eventually. Oh, this is going to be fun. Did I really walk in here with a uh, high jump? Yes, I did. This is Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. Yeah, this is a very difficult fight if you have a melee weapon like High Jump. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. It's okay, we'll just go back in and fight him. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Fuck, turn around, Kirby. Or get jumped on, that's okay too. These guys are problematic if you don't know the fight. 
I know in the Snuffster video that we did of this vi of this episode, or of this game, um... Oh, wow, got it! Uh, Nico got stuck here for, like, a while. Boom! We beat the sun. And you can't eat that. Why'd I try? And with that, Mr. Sign and Mr. Uh, Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright are down. And we will pick up in Grape Garden in the next episode. I'm all to my mantoid. No, Kirby! No! All your balloons are gone! Everybody cry for a moment because Kirby lost all of his balloons. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next episode. I'm all to my mantoid. And this is Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. Till next time, take care and have fun.